Sounds like so a lot that's of, what I believe he meant. It sounds like a lot of the president's political allies believe this is going to hurt their voters in their states. You've got the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, warning against unintended consequences. You're already seeing Electrolux in Tennessee put on hold a $250 million investment. The Wall Street Journal says this is the biggest policy blunder of the Trump presidency, that it's going to cost jobs, cost American consumers. Yeah, that's really not true. Uh, let me give you some actual numbers. Those sloganeerings don't really mean much until you put them into numbers. On an average car, it's $175 worth of steel increase is the maximum <clears throat> that would come from a 25% tariff increase. That's not much. But that's it's assuming not... no more retaliation from the Europeans. No, let me continue. Similarly, all the other products, the total amount of tariffs we're putting on is about $9 billion in a year. That's a fraction of 1% of the economy. So the notion that it would destroy a lot of jobs, raise prices, disrupt things is wrong. As to the idea of retaliation, sure, there may well be some sort of retaliation, but the amounts that they're talking about are also pretty trivial. It's some three billion odd dollars of goods that the Europeans have threatened to put something on. Well, in our size economy, that's a tiny, tiny fraction of one percent. So while it might affect an individual producer for a little while, overall it's not going to be much more than a rounding error.